Peace, peace, peace. On how it goes. No, we on Lord's party. One Lord, one people. Stay noble. Keep it humble. All right, so this segment here is just going over terms that will be used interchangeably. Um, I'm just going to read it verbatim. And you could, on your own time, look them up and do further research with these particular words and see what material you find, um, what journalist material you find regarding these words and how it could be utilized within the Nobody On Lost Party. And you can see how it's used within many social movements here in the United States. And also by the Democratic and Republic parties as well, when they use these words, liberty. And from what angle do they stand on when they use that word liberty? You know, liberty is one meaning, but now you have positive liberty and negative liberty. All right. So first I'm going to define the word liberty. I mean, I should have, let me see. All right, so liberty, right? So liberty is basically, man, let me try to make this bigger. It says the, um, the state of being free within society from the state of being free from the state of being free within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's way of life, behavior, or political views. Um, let me see if I can move this right here. better so that's what liberty is right liberty is the state of being free within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's way of life behavior or political views now we're going to look at what is positive liberty all right positive liberty I'm just gonna go basic terms here now, all right? This is not no college class. This is not for a thesis. It's not a report, but this is basic knowledge, basic information that we should all be familiar with. So I'm gonna use the Wikipedia, Google this, to make it convenient and simple. So positive liberty is the possession of the capacity to act upon one's free will as opposed to negative liberty, which is freedom from external restraint on one's action. A concept of positive liberty may also include freedom from internal constraints, right? That is positive liberty. Now, Uh, negative liberty is freedom from interference by other people. Negative liberty is primarily concerned with freedom from external constraint, which meaning that something from the outside is, ho is holding you back. You know, internal constraint means something internally is holding you back. So, negative liberty is primarily concerned with freedom from external restraint and contrast with positive liberty. Um, 
There you go. Now, the other thing is, let's see what else, positive or negative. All right, uh, let's see something. Negative inverse positive liberty. Okay, let's see. Um, I want to go. All right. You see how you're hearing me type looking up these words? So you could do this yourself as well. You know, there's not going to be a political philosophy class, but... Political philosophy is needed. Um, you should at least be a little, at least familiar with it, because when you be talking about government, the concept of government, the concept of having some type of democracy, um, all the times, you know, they go back to the Plato, you know, the Republic, uh, which was written by Plato. Um, so you have, you can find. All this in political philosophy. All right, so what of negative and positive liberty? Um, I already explained to you what, what what that was. And the paradox, the concept, let me see something. Oh, no. Yeah, like I said, if you want to go further in detail with positive and negative liberty, more free to do so. And you can come back and we can build on these two words. So that's positive and negative liberty, right? So now, the other word that I'm gonna look up is fascist. Since we are not fascists, we're opposed to fascism. Fascism definition. You know, like you hear people say, oh, yo, Trump is a fascist, or, you know, According to Karl Marx, capitalism is the first stage to fascism, is the first stage to fascism, according to Karl Marx, and the realm of political philosophy. Um, fascism is a form of far right, authoritarian, ultra nationalism, characterized by dictatorial power. Forcible suppression of opposition and strong vegetation of society and of the economy, which came to prominence in early 20th century Europe. The face that when you think of fascism, Hitler, the Nazis, those are fascists. All right. Now we're going to look up another word. So that's a fascist. So like they know what is what. Now we're gonna look up Arnicus. Cause no we on those party is not a fascist. No we on those party is not an Arnicus. Arnicism, according to political philosophy, and you know, it's right now it's like known all over social media, you know, movies. You hear talks about the purge, the purge, and, you know, doing a protest, the anonymous mass, and things of that nature. You know, the A, no matter how you see the A, that's Arnicus, right? Hey, in this country, you have the Bill of Rights, you got the Constitution, freedom of speech, you know what I'm saying? So people can't really be regulated like that, you know what I'm saying? So you do have people from different philosophical rounds who do go visit other um, entities such as they might crash a convention or something like that. You know, like for example, um, here right now, let's see, the far right, who is the far right um, that might represent anarchism? The Proud Boys. The Proud Boys could either be anarchists or the Proud Boys could either be the fascists. 
Yeah, why pick on the Proud Boys, right? They chose the wrong colors to use, which was black and gold. And um, the Nobody On Those Party color is black and gold. So, here we go. Arnichism is a political philosophy and movement that is skeptical of authority and rejects all involuntary, coercive forms of hierarchy. Arnichism calls for the abolition of the state, which it holds to be undesirable, unnecessary, and harmful. So society's like Asian provocateurs, like they don't really want no type of government no more. No type of government, that's how it is. They say the people control themselves, so therefore when you look at the people, it's like saying look at the people would be like the parliament, but to me, that philosophy doesn't really make sense because even when you have the parliament, even when you have the people, when you make some rules, those rules are gonna govern the people and therefore the parliament becomes a form of government. So anarchists without government really don't make sense to me. Um, they're just like saying people just don't want no rules or regulations, just do what it is and that's nothing but chaos. All right. Um, and of course you have others that will have, you know, your pros and cons, you have your debates. I'm not gonna be here to be debating about anarchism, fascism, nah. You have other schools for that. You know, you have, you go right here, East Harlem, I'm sure they might go over these words in depth. And that's the PSL, which is the Party for Socialism and Liberation. They located right there on 116th Street on Park Avenue, right? Right, um, it's called the Justice Center, and they also have the Revolutionary Fitness Center. All right, that's the PSL, Party for Socialism Liberation. If you want to go in-depth or get more in-depth understanding of these terms of fascism, of anarchism, of Leninism, of Marxism, of Maoism, the isms, right? Well, you still have that here. Um, that's anarchist, a person who believes in or tries to bring about anarchy. Um, now let's see. So we went over fascism, we went over anarchists, we went over liberty, we went over positive liberty, we went over negative liberty. Now let's go with communism. All right. And I think when it comes to this, I would have to utilize terms that's defined by the MIM, which is Myers International Movement. Um, so let's see something here. Okay, go with. All right. This is something here. This one. Man notes. Under lock and key. The under lock and key. That's basically dealing with the prisons. So when it comes to mem notes, um, this, that's a big organization, it's an international movement, Myers International Movement. So you know how it goes. You gotta find your place, you know, find your lane. So therefore that's why when you see the No We Don't Lost Party, the Court of Arms, 
you see why the coat of arms is, is different than the communist party within itself communist party has a hammer and a sickle and the no Orleans party is not the hammer and the sickle it is the sickle and the machete um and then of course you have the coronet in other words the crown um because that symbolizes nobility no Orleans party but once again when you see the crown, you've seen the five-point star within the crown. You've only seen one five-star within the crown. You've not seen no stones around the crown. You've not seen other stars around the crown. Um, and it's not going to have different variations of the crown, um, like the old man and King Queen Nation. Uh, so it therefore is a coronet, not the imperial crown. Or no other crowns. It's just a three point coronet to be specific. Um that's for the No Yolos party. So like that won't be misconstrued with the old my Nine King Queen Nation. Okay? Alright. Now might have symbolic might have symbolicism, you know, just like the black and gold, symbolicism, similar. You know, different days on my land, King Queen Nation was, came out in the 40s, 1940s in Chicago. Right? No, we on those party. I just brought it out into existence in society, 2021. But the party within itself was put together back in 2001, if I'm not mistaken. Um, inside a penitentiary. Okay. Now, right here, let's see. Um, we're going to go right here to under lock and key. Uh, let's see. This is under. See, basically, Mem is anti imperialist, right? So, damn. There's so much stuff that, that you can get that I can find and YouTube it, but right now I'm having little difficulties. And I'm not gonna speed through this, but you know, you're gonna see a lot of these terms interchangeably. Um that we can't help. But you know what? But let me just cause yeah, I just found a lot of newspapers, like different issues. So under lock and key, you gotta understand this newspaper right here. Um, these were like, you know, revolutionary Latin kings be writing this where all revolutionary minded people, Black Panthers, Young Lords, New African people, um, the Black Gorilla family, um, all these different revolutionary minded people that's incarcerated, you know, when they want to let their voice heard, uh, trying to communicate to society, they are writing their pieces, they letting their voice be heard uh, in a newspaper called Under Lock and Key. That is, those are the papers that I'll be reading from. That's what I'm gonna be building from. It's from the under lock and key. All right. Under lock and key. As you know, this country here, United States of America, has the most prisons in the world due to the prison industrial complex. All right. So, so as you can see, they still, when they fight against oppression, they fight against their oppressors. That is a prison industrial complex. Um, all right. So let me just go find other words right here real fast. Not fast, but I just gave you like a little information where to find some information in regards to that No We Own Those Party will be dealing with, will be sharing with the people. Where, I'm letting you know, know where I'm getting the information from. It's not conjecture. I'm not just getting it from the top of my head. I ain't just have a dream, you know. Um, I don't say it like that, but you know what I'm saying. I ain't trying to perpetrate a fraud. Um, so let's see, communist communism. All right, so communism. So another political ideology, right? So communism is a philosophical, social, political, and economic ideology and movement whose ultimate goal 
is the establishment of a communist society, namely a social economic order. So basically social economic order structured upon the ideas of common ownership of the means of productions and the absence of social classes, money, and estate. To me, ask me personally, the only two, to me, two good models, successful models of communism is the only versions that I would jack is Cuba. And when Chavez alive, when Chavez was alive, Chavez of Venezuela. Now Venezuela is doing horribly, but as you can see, Chavez is not there. As you can see, the party was infiltrated, it was a coup, yada, yada, yada. You know, as far as Cuba is concerned, Cuba would be so more, so much more successful if it wasn't for the United States embargo. Facts. Um, now, so that's communism. So, let me back up. Go right here. Now, I'm going to go to directly to the Nobu Yonlo's party, Latino nations of North America, political compendium manual. And then I see, just give you like the basic program, like what they want. So right here, all right. So we just went over the words. Matter of fact, before I even go over this, I went over communism, let me just Hit imperialism, United States imperialism, right? So what is imperialism? We always hear this word, the imperialist, imperialism. I'm fighting against imperialism. All right, so. It don't make sense just to use words. You heard, them, heard other people use the words and, you know, you hear sound bites, you hear the news. We're using the words loosely but not understanding what the word means. Um, so imperialism, another political ideology. Uh, imperialism is a policy or ideology of extending the rule over peoples in other countries for extending political and economic assets, power and control, often through employing hard power, especially military force, but also soft power. That's what they call United States imperialism. Alrighty. Now let me go back to the manual. The Nobu Young Laws Party Program. Okay, so I'm going to read this. Uh, Noble Young Lowe's Party Program. So, this is how many points? It should be 13 points like the original Young Lowe's Party, but it only has 10 points. I'm getting it straight from the PCN. I did not create the PCN. I'm not going to alter the PCN. I'm only building from the PCN. That's it. I could say what I, I believe, what I agree, what I uphold, I could say what I disagree with. That's me. That's Malik Aleem. I self law and master everything within my destiny. Um, so, we want communism. That's what the Nobu Young Lost Party says. I ain't gonna lie, when I first seen that, I'm like, why? I don't know about this. Um, we want communism. We believe that anyone who opposes all oppression and power groups over groups is a communist. Um, this includes opposition to national oppression, class oppression, and gender oppression. All right? Bam. We don't gotta stay stuck there. Let's keep moving. We want socialism. We believe that socialism is the path to communism. We believe that the current dictatorship of the bougie oppresses the world majority including internal colonies. Internal colonies is basically the black nation, um, Caribbeans, First Nations, Mexico, Central and South America. We believe that socialism, the dictatorship of the proletariat, whenever you hear the word proletariat, that means the people, the proletariat and peasantry, the press, is a necessary step towards a world without inequality or oppressive dictatorship. Nobody on those party upholds, we uphold the USSR on the, let me see something. Well, this part right here, I'm reading this from the PCN. All right, we uphold the USSR under Lenin and Stalin and China under Mayo as models in this regard. 
Okay. Um, we want organization. We believe that demo. Okay, here we go. Is where I'm standing. We want organization. We believe that democratic centralism. That means no far left, no far right. Centralism, democratic centralism. Uh, we believe that democratic centralism, the system of unified application of majority decision, is necessary to defeat the oppressors. This system includes organization, leadership, discipline, and hierarchy. The oppressors use these weapons and will use them against the oppressor. By building a disciplined socialist vanguard party, we follow the traditions of comrades Lenin, Mayo, of course you would be knowing. Now, number four, we want a united front against imperialism. We believe that the imperialists are waging a World War Three against internal Latino nations, black nations, first nations, various Asian nations, and the international proletariat and peasantry. We seek to unite proletariat and feminist leadership against imperialism, capitalism, and patriarchy. We believe that the imperialist country working classes are primarily a pro-imperialist labor aristocrat. Likewise, we believe that the biological women, when they spell women, it is not W-O-M-A-N, it is W-I-M-M-I-N. Um, other imperialist countries are primarily agenda aristocrat. We'll work with either groups and other reactionary groups to dismantle oppression, but we do not seek strategic unity with them. And in fact, we believe that the labor aristocrat, the bourgeois, the bougies, um, the petty bougies, and imperialist biological women owe reparations to the international proletarian peasantry. As such, upon winning state power, the international proletariat will be able to open the borders. We believe that the dictatorship of the proletariat will be necessary in order that the labor. All right. That's the program. See, it gets com. See, when it gets complicated like that, that's why I'm just gonna print it out, keep it posted, and then just build on. Um, I'm gonna see if I could just make it simplify as well. I just go with. I mean, let's see. All right. I'm um, keep reading. This is the party platform. Okay, so it says we want equality for women. Number five. While we have established that imperialist biological women are, are indeed by their own general practice supporters of imperialism, we also recognize that women hold on general or secondary status as opposed to men. Therefore, we, 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 we unite with the cause of true feminism so is a host of feminism against patriarchy. We believe that the only truly effective way that patriarchy can be eliminated is by concentrating our efforts against the principal contradiction, that struggle against the oppressors by the proletariat, the destruction of imperialism and its replacement by the dictatorship. You see that? That part right there. All right, and his replacement. Now, I'm gonna break this down. The replacement by the dictatorship of the proletariat is the destruction of the patriarchy, right? But then you might have another person. You now, saying any type of dictatorship, I'm against. Sorry. Um, we will struggle alongside our sisters in the fight for social and economic equality. So I don't know, when I, when, when, when I print out these modules, I just hear for New York State, since I'm the voice of Nobody Almost Party, since I'm the one that brought this into society. Um, therefore, and they will know, the chairman will know, I'm sending him a letter that certain things will be altered because in order to have this function to avoid persecution and they want us to help them in the inside, then, um, we have to operate within the confines of the law and to avoid any further persecution like the original young laws went through, like the Black Panthers went through, like the Brown Barrettes went through. So yes, even those Black Lives Matter, because um, 
All lives can't matter until Black Lives Matter. So it's Black Lives Matter. Um, so when Black Lives Matter came in, now you have your Brown Barrettes. They out. That's the Aspens. That's the Brown Prime. Right? That's the Chicano Brothers and whatnot. Um, they back out. New Black Panthers Party is back out. You have the new Arab Young Lords Party out. And then you have me. I can't say just me. Nah, we stop playing. That's, bit, that's like, ooh, pride, bragging, none of that, negative. But you have me, what I'm speaking about, which is the Noble Young Lords Party. All right? Got it. Move forward. Now we have, um, do, 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 do. okay, we believe that the only truly effective way that patriarchy can be eliminated is by, all right, I already said that. We were strong alongside our sisters in the fight for social and economic equality. All right, that's the reason why they say the Noble Young Lord Party, the word Lord is genderless. So that word Lord, it could be a brother or it could be a sister, Lord. Um, all right, so it says we want community control of our institutions and lands. We believe in the people's control of our communities and all these programs to guarantee that all institutions serve the needs of our people. This means people, people control of police, health services, churches, schools, housing, and transportation. We believe there should be an end to attacks on our land by urban renewal, higher construction, rezoning, waste disposal, industrial pollution, and corporate takeovers of the People's Party. All right. I believe in social democracy. So therefore, with the Nobody on those party, we platform still stays within itself, still operate within the platform, still operate within that point, but within the means that we have available to us here in the United States. Uh, when they say we place, all right, um, I don't think we could do like what happened before when the young lords took over the church. We have the United States P track one and two. So therefore, you know what I'm saying? We're not operating like no domestic terrorists. That's not happening. Um, and then that, straight, clear, we're not a clandestine organization. Clandestine organization means underground. If it was clandestine organization, you won't see my face at all. You won't see no one's faces of the No We On Those Party at all if we were a clandestine organization. We are not a clandestine organization. Um, all right. So, all right. Man, let's. This thing is long. Uh, yeah, it is long, right, but let me. <laughs> let me. <laughs> this thing is long. All right, wait a minute. You want community control? All right. See, I could just go up the basis. What's in there, what I'm going to do. It's basically go with the basis there, and I'm gonna have to do my own full up. All right, and make sure that none of the comrades are getting caught up with no freaking United States Patriot Act 1 and 2. And we're then showing and try to get caught up with seditious conspiracy. And we're then showing trying to get caught up with the RICO law. So those are four, four laws are we dodging. You say, why Rico? No, this ain't, this ain't criminal, this ain't, uh, this ain't the Land Kings, uh. Yeah, we know that, but we also know the government. And, you know, they're gonna be like, well, you know, we see the revolutionary when the Land Kings, we see that back then, you know, some of the young lords used to be, or are ancient kings, or, you know, from other parties, whatever the case may be, or they might just go based with the fact that, oh, look, it's black and gold, and, you know, we see a crown, but we also see the sickle, and we also see the, um, the machete with the crown together. Um, so therefore they try and say, oh, is it you know, affiliated? Is, is it a part of this wing? No. Is anyone from the All My Nineteen Cream Nation is selling the NYLP anything, how to do, how to function? Absolutely not. Um, two separate entities. Um, the Nobody Owners Party, it is not a clique. It is not a street organization. It is not a gang. It is a party. All right. Now, so I'm just going to go 
basically the 10 point instead of going for the definition i'm just gonna give you the 10 point because as you can see it's very extensive i mean the brothers are you know they just break the bees that's, that's how it is like you know you read a lot of books you go in you go deep now i see what people was talking about when i used to write the letters and i used to be writing like 10 20 page letters 30 page letters <laughs> now i see what people was talking about like yo i can write books all right well, now I'm in society, I'm reading this, I'm like, yo, this is a lot of writing. Like, why they ain't make it simple? Now I see what people was talking about. All right. <laughs> cool. So this is the tip point. No, we're going to lose party program. One, we want communism. Two, we want socialism. Three, we want organization. Four, we want a united front against imperialism. Five, we want equality for women. Six. We want community control of our institutions and lands. Um, seven, we want correct adjudications for all political prisoners. Eight, we want self-determination for Latino nations, First Nations, Asian nations, and the Black nations. Nine, we want revolutionary struggle. Um, here in the United States, Revolutionary struggle. Uh, I'm gonna be blunt. It says revolutionary arm struggle. So that is protected by the Second Amendment right. But here in New York State, we don't have no malicious branches. We don't have no gun ranges. We don't need that. We don't need to be an extra target. You know, so therefore, we leaving that part out. Um, so we're not gonna be walking around the streets, you know, with the AKs, the AR-15s, negative. But for those who wanna learn how to um, shoot, for those that wanna learn how to, you know, do the same paramilitary training, no doubt that, cause we, I, we, we do believe in self-defense, so therefore, yes. You still have to learn these things. Um, so, you know, that's why it's good to collaborate with other parties as well. Black Panther parties, the Brown Barrettes. I'm just saying for the Noble Young Lost Party. How to not be the target. Um, how to operate within the confines of the law and how to change the laws, you know, to be better for the future. Um, there will be clashes. Um, pen and paper. You know, lawyers, things of that nature. That's so you have to operate and do things wisely. Don't act off impulse. Um, let's not be reactionaries. Um, and yeah, that was number nine. And number ten says we want world revolution. So basically, now speak with, when you speak with me or I'm speaking, you already know revolution. First revolution, first days of revolution is the revolution of the mind. You got to change the mind, and that's the reason why I said this is polit political education. So therefore, we are dealing with the revolutionary of the mind. Now, when it comes to praxis, you know, yes, yeah, there's different struggles, you know. From serving humanity is a noble deed. Two, being an advocacy for the people, you know, such as like housing rights, such as workers' rights, such as, you know, you have working families partying, you know, make people aware to vote, make people aware as far as, um, who are in the office, who's running for office, what platform they on, you know, because when they come into office, what's gonna happen? Gentrification, is rent gonna go up? Are uh, they gonna be placing more people out? All this is, is needed to know. Current events, um, we'll be going over the debate, the art of debate, the art of communication, uh, the rules of debate. And once we have all this, you know, with each other, have healthy debates. One would be able to realize how they can have a, a healthy debate, a successful debate when dealing with the oppressors. Um, so that's making change for the prisoners, that's making change for those who are formerly incarcerated, that's making a change for those who are dealing with the school system, um, that's making a change for the, the health system, as making a change for housing system, making a change for employment system. So it's all making a change, right? That's revolutionary. 
Radical, all right, yeah, radical. Grassroots radical. Community organization radical. Um, radical in the sense where when it comes to the organizations, we're not going to be here. We're not here for that to be, oh, look what they're doing. They're doing this, they're doing that. Nah, we have other parties doing that. Let them do that. We're not here for that. Um, it is what it is. The books piece, the books addresses everything itself. So I don't need to go over that. None of us need to go over that. Um, basically, we the same people. Um, we could deal with people with where they at. You know, the common factor, common unification factor is peace and unity of the community. So therefore, you still have, although it's a political party, you still have street organizations that live within the community that still operate in the community. So it's how to work hand in hand with each other. Because it don't make no sense to try to Bring heat upon them. You're going you're gonna to be using the, the, the oppressors. You're going to be using the, the imperial oppressors going against them. It's the same ones that we're going against. And then they're going to turn around and go against us too. Soon or later. So, now maybe we got to be wiser than that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Um, um, the other thing it says, it goes. All right. So, now this is the Maoist International Movement. And it says what well, we want, what we believe, same thing. They want communism, they want socialism, we want revolutionary armed struggle, uh, we want organization, we want independent institution of and of the oppressed, we want continuous revolution, we want to basically, all right, you know what they did? All right, their 10 point program, no, we don't point program, the 10 point is basically the men point. Now, the young laws have a 13 point program and that 13 point program won't cannot be changed um so that's that but this is the 10 point program is going to be operating on and we have to operate on this um yeah so that's so that's why you see the similarities and differences of the new era young laws party that they have the 13 point platform from the original Young Lost Party. And we have the 10 point platform that is not the original Young Lost Point platform, but it is, it borrowed, it utilized the platform and program from the Myers International Movement. Okay? And yep, that's it within itself. Peace. I know this is a little extensive, but this is so like that. I'm gonna have to keep going over this again and again and again and again and again. You know, this is a video. You can always come back to this. You can always Google it. You can always share the information. So this is no Be Alone's party. It is not a gang. It is not a clique. We are not a fascist organization or a fascist party. We are not an anarchist party. We are not a far left party. We're not a far right party. Okay. We are the No We On Lost Party. That's who we are. Peace. One Lord, one people. Stay noble.